who has transformed video cameras, making them more compact, simpler, more colorful, more fun. Who? RCA, with the new Pro Wonder Camcorder, the camera and recorder that uses standard VHS cassettes plus solid state technology for brighter, more colorful memories. Pro Wonder. If you settle for less than RCA, that's exactly what you'll get. And unfortunately, that's the weather fixture for tonight. Roger is a weatherman. He knows the difference between little storms and big storms. And recently, when he saw a big one coming, the first place he went was his Honda generator dealer. Hey, you're the weatherman. I need a real good generator. And by the time the storm hit, Roger was prepared. The Honda generator. Because you never know what the weather will bring. When the big Q flows, America goes. Uh, you there, Mr. Bailey, that's selling the car? You're buying? Depends. How's it run? Great. Always on Quaker State. That's good. Quaker State means performance. You could depend on quality. I've heard that. One of a kind formula. Stable viscosity. Keeps flowing. Protecting. You sold me. The car? <laughs> and the oil. Quaker State. The big Q stands for quality. Always has. Always will. Searching here for predictions and there for analysis? Oh, the dilemma of choosing the right pregame show. We at NBC Sports suggest you give as much thought to choosing a pregame show as you did when saying, I do. Possibly more. NFL 86, the one you'll choose. Well, he had two blocked last week, but he's kicked 50, 54, 59-yard punts today. Dick, I think the real test of courage is how you respond to adversity. Now, that's a response right there. Denver trails 10-3, midpoint second quarter. Clint Sampson in motion. Elway looking for Watson. One hops him at the 35. Listen to the crowd. Timing is just off for John Elway today as we see a little bit of fisticuff action between Blackman and someone who's trying to protect the quarterback. That's Billy Bryant, the center back there, trying to help out on him. And Elway's just missing. It just looks like he's out of sync down there today. That was the perfect call for him. He had Watson isolated one on one against LePet. He rolled out, no one bothering him, and threw five yards short. That's where the strength of that arm comes in handy because he can get there so quickly. LePet backpedaling, giving Watson lots of room. There it is on the one hop. You can catch him that way, but they don't count. <laughs> he was definitely open. Draw play. Winder to the 20. It'll be third down and seven for Denver. Lawrence McGrew, whose interception led to the only touchdown of the game, made that tackle. We've talked a bit about the linebackers down there for the New England Patriots. Very often in these, in fact, most often in these long yardage situations, Andre Tippett, number 56, will drop down into a three-point stance. He just becomes a virtually a down lineman. There you see him going down. He's the defensive right left hand. Closest to you here. And Blackman, the other linebacker, moves right to his side in the standing position. Elway, the protection hits Watson, but that's only for a yard. They blew it dead. He had been contacted on the ground, look, apparently. Looked to me like that ball bounced on the way into Watson's hands. Rule it down at the 21. No game. Here's a shot of Andre Tippett rushing from his position, and you notice they put a lineman out of him. Kenny Lanier, 76. They just don't want to trust uh, one of their backs to handle him. You saw that ball coming into the hands of Watson, but it looked to me like it may have skipped off the turf on the way in. Technically, they rule that the 22-yard line, a gain of a couple, and Jack Wheel will come into punt. He's a uh, native of the Denver suburbs. 50.5 yard average. Boy, both kickers well over 50 on the average today. This one's going to be a little shorter. Fryer at his own 40. Reversing. Looking for a block. Breaking the tackle. And out of bounds at the Denver 48 yard line. A fine return by Irving Fryer and a flag is down. 
Fryer doing a great job of getting away from number 50 Jim Ryan but I think we may have an illegal block on one of the New England Patriots. There it is. You, you don't see, see that clip. clipping call very often anymore do you. No and, and really there's not much difference except that that is below the waist. You hit a man in the back it's called an illegal, illegal block above the waist but this was on the back of the legs. We're in the run back blocking below the waist number 58. It'll be first down at 10. Ball at the 34 yard line. As you watch Irving Fryer again and his talent. Look at him pulling away from the tackle right there. 50. Darren Como. Yeah, Darren Como as well as Jim Ryan. It was Como who had a hold of him. If you want to risk driving on your old antifreeze another year, you ought to know what you might be getting yourself into. Driving just 10,000 miles on weak, neglected antifreeze can cause freeze-up and make a radiator look this bad, while a Presto radiator looks this good. So for maximum protection, don't push your luck. Change it once a year, every year, with fresh Presto. And don't you be left out in the cold. Now the game is on the line here. Joe Montana fading back to pass. Wait a minute. That's Billy Stevens who's fading to pass. He's throwing a long one. He's got it. It's a touchdown. Here's Billy Stevens ready for the all-important field goal attempt that could make the difference. And it is good. If your child dreams of being a part of the NFL, now you can help make that dream come true. As a member of the NFL Super Pro Club, your child will receive all of these official club materials. And it's easy to join. Send name, address, name of your favorite team, and 750 to NFL Super Pro Club, P.O. Box 9000, Trenton, New Jersey, 08650. The NFL Super Pro Club, where dreams come true. And the Patriots would be even in better shape had they not been called for the 15 yard penalty. They start on this occasion at the 34 yard line, have a 10 3 lead, just under six minutes left in the opening half. Tony Collins for the 35, a gain of one. Dick, Rick Dennison, number 55, is one of those linebackers that moves in and out quite a bit. Last week in that game, they were telling me that after analyzing the films, he was a factor, a major factor in 58% of the plays that he was on the field. That's a, they said that's the highest they've ever recorded in Denver. Gives you an idea, and here's a guy who doesn't get that many chances to start, a surprise starter last week, and responded with a brilliant game. Overachiever out of Colorado State, a free agent in 82. Eason underneath to Collins. Tony Collins is near midfield as he has five catches in this first half. Collins who has caught only eight in the first three games, so he perhaps is a countering factor to that uh, Denver defense. Let's check the other late games in the NFL today. Jets lead 10 0, and Dan Fouts has thrown touchdown passes to Winslow and Johnson despite a broken nose. We understand Marcus Allen did not, did not suit up for that game. And Tampa Bay, Steve Young has thrown a touchdown pass for the Buccaneers to take a 13 7 lead over Atlanta. Eason looked long, goes short. It's Collins again to the Denver 46, a gain of about five. Take what the defense gives you. Very simple. Eason, you saw him looking downfield, wanted the long ball, wasn't there. Simply looked to the outside, flipped it to the outlet man, and even though he took a shot, that's the kind of football that has helped Tony Eason to really take charge of the, that offense this year. All right, I'll throw one. You can give me a one-word answer to this. New England Patriots, in terms of their team this year, if you were to describe their team as Raymond Berry said it over and over again yesterday, uh, what word do you, comes to mind when you hear New England? Together. Flips it a one handed catch by Beatty, the backup tight end. That's the kid we talked about, an eighth round pick, a basketball player in high school. He was recruited 
at Boston College in fact as a basketballer decided to go to Stanford and play football caught 61 passes last year as a tight end. Brady will be coming across to the outside using that good size. There you see him coming all the way across from the right hand side. Just one of those big paws in the air. Snag that ball with one hand. You'll see him right here. Oh, what a nice play. That's he's going to the hoop with that one. You can put that one on the wall. First down, New England. Mosey to Tupu and Mecklenburg and company. Stop him for little or no gain. I said together. What would you say? Balance. Balance, yes. Yeah. Balance uh, in terms of, I mean, we were talking about, you know, he looked for Morgan. Morgan drawing double coverage on that pass play through underneath the Collins. And as he said yesterday, we have no particular game plan for today. So whatever they take away, we'll, we'll go somewhere else. We can run long, we can run short, we can pass long, we can pass short, inside, outside. They really do have a well balanced team. They give you fits. You say, what, what should we take away? And then you realize that whatever you take away from them, they're going to hurt you somewhere else. Morgan, the touchdown maker to the right. Blitz. They're looking for Morgan deep, and he's open. But it's over his head, and he said he would have been there had he not been tugged at by the veteran Louis Wright. Morgan really hot at Louis Wright. I asked him if he was going to work on Louis. He said, we think he's lost a bit of a step. He said, I think we can get deep on him. Let's see if we can see the action on the far side of the field. That's bump and run by Wright right there. And you saw him grab on. That's what Morgan was saying. Look at him. He's already pointing back. He's saying, hey, you can't do that. And Eason knew it too. Eason's watching him downfield. He said, you got to throw the flag on that one. Where's the flag? Where is it? My pocket. Louis Wright hasn't made five Pro Bowls. I, uh, not proud in those receivers. Would you call that the experience factor, Dick? I guess that would fit into that category very neatly. Third and nine, Eason. Open is Collins again. And he's inside the 15 to the 11-yard line. Tony Collins having a day. You know that Eason has great vision down the field. Watch him as he takes this low snap and he feels the pressure coming in. He's going to step up to get away from it. You see the pressure coming to the outside. Look at him. Just takes that little step right there, gets up inside, and then drops a perfect strike inside to Collins. And that's like a long handoff to the running back. He bursts up in there for a nice game. Nice indeed. 25 yards, seven catches for Collins, and New England is threatening. For every man who wears brute deodorant, there's a woman who will always be glad that he did. Because a man who wears Brute deodorant is nice to be close to. Brute, it smells like a man. Great. This season, McDonald's is getting you into the game. Heard about McDonald's kickoff payoff game? No. How do you play it? Collect and trade cards of your favorite NFL stars. I got his card. I got his card. His card. I got his card. Each his kickoff card. payoff card's a winner. Win a McDonald's sandwich, fries, or Coca-Cola. Get off your duff. The card's just good for one week. Oh, yeah? It's a good time for the great taste. NFL kickoff payoff. Oh, McDonald's. Gentlemen, start your engines. This year, as in years past, the United States Auto Club conducted a nationwide study to determine which leading car rental company has the best conditioned cars. Hundreds of cars were tested. Over 36,000 individual items were inspected, from brakes to ashtrays. And for the fourth time, National Car Rental beat Hertz, Avis, and Budget, hands down. National Car Rental, number one in car condition. This water damage is going to run $750. What would have stopped it? Thompson's Water Seal protects wood, brick, and concrete with its special waterproofing formula. Thompson's Water Seal, a great defense against repair expense. Welcome back. Now, if you shaved off that beard and see that <laughs> fellow behind you there, if he had it on. <laughs> That's baby brother. Phil Olson. <laughs> They were honoring the uh, all of the old timers. Uh, they had over 100 players, I think, back uh, from the Denver Broncos today. Really a nice event here. Crowd giving them all a nice round of applause, and Phil played here, so he was happy to be a part. Well, of yeah, it. and I'm happy we got you both on because Mrs. Olson, you owe me a slab of that apple Mom. pie now. You okay, owe me Mom, a piece Phil's of pie. doing all right. Baby brother's doing all right. <laughs> hey, that is nice. We're going to show you some of the halftime. They're going to induct uh, Paul Smith, Frank Trapuca, and Charlie Johnson into that ring of fame here at Denver, and we'll try to share some of that with you in the second half. Look at the time of possession. The Patriots 
have owned the pumpkin in this first half and are trying to improve on a 10 3 lead. Final two minutes. Tony Collins, seven catches, 74 yards. It's James this time. He likes to pass, and it's intercepted by Foley. Steve Foley fumbles, and I believe Denver maintains possession at the 21. That is a record breaking interception. Steve Foley's 44th career interception. Craig James, who likes to throw to Tony Collins. But Foley steps in the way, and the veteran read, read that one perfectly and breaks Goose Gonsolin's Bronco record. Breaks another nice record. Craig had thrown to that point five passes, three of them for touchdowns, one of them that should have been a touchdown. Dropped uh, by Irving Fryer, and then suddenly one that is intercepted. Watch it right here. Craig doesn't do as good a job of selling the run as he might have done. Foley wasn't buying the running act. He came right across, did a great job of taking that football away from Tony Collins. Collins was open. Actually, the fumble created when Dave stuttered. Not stuttered, uh, but one of his own linemen knocked the ball away. Now it's Elway trailing 10 3 and he misses again. This time it was Will Height. Proud impatient in Denver. Elway shaking his head. You see Dan Reeves with Gary Kubiak, backup quarterback. Kubiak signaling the plays into Elway, utilizing the backup quarterback in that role to signal quickly into the field. Chance to watch that last play. Foley, you see it right here, the swipe at the head by Brian Holloway, 76. They were thinking that should have been called, and indeed it should have been. Andre Tippett pressuring Elway. And Tippett runs him out of bounds at the 12, 13 yard line. Andre says, let me at least touch you. I want to make sure I know what you feel like in case I don't get another opportunity. That will be recorded, I believe, as a sack as he went out of bounds without getting back to the line of scrimmage. Tippett gets credit for the sack. His fourth of this young season. He had 18 and a half last year. 10 nothing Jets, 13 nothing Chargers, 20 to 7 Tampa Bay. The other late games here, 10 3 New England. Tippett. A lot of conversation during the course of the week with Andre Tippett where he said he thinks he's the number one linebacker in football. One more look at Holloway taking that swipe at Foley's uh, head. That'll, that'll make you fight mad That's if you're a Bronco. Flicking left jab. Tippett again pressuring Elway who finds a man open. It's Jackson. Mark Jackson. And while they're covering Samson and Watson, Jackson has been the man open. An 18-yard gain and a first down. And timeout, Denver. Fred Marion there to make the tackle for New England, but that is a big first down. One minute, 25 seconds left in the half as Elway and the Broncos try to at least close the gap. Liberty Mutual Insurance presents Legend of the Game. Substituting precision for speed and concentration for size, number 82 was the consummate receiver. At the 1958 NFL Championship, he caught 12 passes to ensure a place in the Hall of Fame. Who was this Baltimore Colt legend? Drivers have come to us. They believe in liberty. They're in a mutual insurance. I'm a safe driver, so I shopped around for car insurance. Liberty Mutual gave me the best protection and saved me money, too. I believe in liberty. America believes in liberty. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Raymond Berry's career as a coach of the AFC champion New England Patriots, coupled with his exceptional playing career, made him a legend of the game. And Raymond Berry now. Well, you never see him dressed that way. <laughs> Ow, as my kids would say. Vance Johnson, boy, do they miss him on the field. Another couple of weeks, they expect to have him back in the lineup. The most productive Denver receiver in the early preseason. And they'd love to have him today, I'll tell you. You know, he's thinking Olympics, too. We'll tell you about that after this play. 125 left in the half. Elway, that shovel pass to Wilhite. Short yardage. Johnson told me yesterday 
that uh, he is actively working on his long jump. He was a world class long jumper almost made the 84 team was an alternate in the long jump. He thinks if the pros are allowed to compete he says I'm going to put I'm going to compete in Seoul Korea. Well, he has the ability to do it. Low again to Will Hyde. And if Elway were a pitcher in He'd baseball. Take him out, wouldn't you? Yeah, he's walked too many. Yep. And just one of those days where things are not clicking and you see Elway's frustration. I, and you know, the strange thing is that so many things for a quarterback like a pitcher are instinctive. And it's hard to figure out what you're doing wrong. The ball is just not going where he's aiming it today. Yeah. My old buddy Don Drysdale used to say, quit thinking you're hurting the team. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, Elway is such a competitor. He is a fierce competitor, loves to play this game, and they love him here in Denver. He's a winner. Big play here on third down and six because an incomplete pass and a minute left would give New England perhaps a chance to get a late score. Elway going deep for Watson. Beautiful play by Raymond Claiborne, the veteran from Texas, timing his leap, and number 26 Claiborne knocks away what might have been a completion down on the 20 yard line. We talked about the veteran Louis Wright. Claiborne working on a streak of his own. What is this, Dick? His 125th consecutive start. Boy, I'll tell you, Raymond Claiborne. Great speed, great concentration, and great durability. He goes back to that Jim Plunkett deal with San Francisco as one of the draft picks that New England used to take Claiborne in the first round at 77. Fryer, the first player picked in the draft a few years ago, out of Nebraska, stands at the 23. Wheel spins one, a dying spiral at the 24. 30, 35, 40, running through tackles, and it's Fryer still on his feet at the Denver 46 yard line. It looked as if everyone else was in slow motion. He can do that to you. Great, great talent. I, I use that word again, but you see it right there. Fryer has the speed and the body control to make the big plays. Watch him here. He's not afraid of that. Of those down of those linemen and linebackers streaming in on him. Look how quickly he can adjust to what he sees in front of him. Almost ran over Ed Reynolds, one of his own men. <laughs> Reynolds just patted him on the back as he went by. He said, go get him. Or Slide by, get on down. 46 yard line, a 40 yard punt, 30 yard return, 43 seconds left in this first half, and New England with a chance to add to the 10 3 lead. Cedric Jones tackled by Harden at the 26 yard line first down timeout 33 seconds left in the half 20 yard strike from Easton to Jones and Tony Easton has had an outstanding first half that is his 21st throw and his 15th completion coming off a record performance last week and he is hot. It's interesting he goes to talk with Grogan and Raymond Berry on the left. Uh, you know uh, the input, and you really like that, don't you? The I fact do. that I Barry do. says, "Hey, I want my troops to feed in input. They're the ones in the trenches. Let me know what you think." Not only that, but but Grogan has a good sense about it too. He listens to the other players. Eason will tell him what he likes and what what he doesn't like. Rod Humanic, who's Raymond's offensive coordinator now, is on the left. Bobby Greer, backfield coach, on the right. I mean, that's there's Barry on the right hand side. Barry has a as a way of reaching his people too. good communicator doesn't say a lot but they do listen they do listen to him. Well he's a man who has proven his talent. He was a classic overachiever and uh, Dan Reeves in, in many ways the same he was a free agent pick two out of South Carolina both ex players that know what it's like in the trenches. He sent to James. Trying to duck in behind the blockers, but Mecklenburg and Fletcher and Woodard not fooled a bit. Well, he ran it to the left side a while ago out of the shotgun, and James made a big pickup on that play. But this time they didn't fool anybody. That's the second timeout used by New England. At the moment, the ball at the 30. That would mean a 47 yard field goal attempt by Franklin yesterday in practice he kicked one but just practice no one around him 65 yards two yards longer than the NFL record of Tom Dempsey again testament to how far the ball will travel here in Denver uh, I think if you were a kicker you'd say can I go up to Denver and play for a while I want to get those long punts and those long kicks 
Yeah, we're talking about the communication with Raymond Berry. Great example of that, talking to Pete Brock. He said, we were talking about the noise factor, and they've kept us quiet, this uh, crowd rather quiet today. They were worried about being in the shotgun, hearing the signals, and they were talking about different ways of doing it. And Brock looked over, and the coaches were having a lot of this conversation, and Berry was kind of smiling. And he asked him later, he said, why were you smiling? He said, well, my thought is we'll just shut the door on you guys and let you work it out for yourselves, and I know you'll do it. <laughs> he respects what the players bring in terms of intelligence to the game. And notice even here this we've watched him on the sidelines the players and the assistant coaches they're talking Barry's almost an outsider just listening, listening in listening but boy I tell you isn't it isn't that the other half of the conversation yeah, that's that, so important that's the formula that works good leaders listen Eason underneath to the man who has been busy busy eight catches in the first half for Tony Collins to match the eight of the first three games of the season the clock running down to 10 apparently they're going to set up for the field goal and not try another play they'll wait till it ticks down to three or two and there it is at the three second mark and Franklin then will come in and try to give the Patriots a 10 point lead at the intermission. I mentioned the noise factor here as you see this packed house and all of the orange shirts and sweaters and hats around this can be one of the noisiest stadiums in football I think the noisiest outdoor stadium in football but uh, they have been relatively quiet in this first half of course they have only a field goal to cheer and the offense for Denver really has sputtered but against a team New England that did not allow a touchdown to Indianapolis in the opener did not allow a touchdown to the Jets in the second game and then things fell apart against Seattle last week but this is a defense that Apparently will be tough to score against throughout the year. Franklin will have to wait. It will be about a 37 38 yard kick. Boy it's been a while 10 years ago but against Baylor when Franklin kicked for Texas A&M in one game he kicked a 64 and a 65 yard field goal. He was the first of the barefooted kickers. In fact they had to change the rules so he could kick without a shoe. 37 yards officially out of Eason's hole. Right down the middle. At the end of the first half, Franklin from 37, and an impressive first half ends for the New England Patriots. Patriots have really had it all their way here in the first half. Elway with without the coordination and timing to do what Dan Reeves had hoped he'd be able to do. The Denver defense unable to shut down New England's offense. NFL 86 halftime activities in a moment. We'll be back after these messages from your local station. Tonight, Easy Street moves to its regular time with a big celebration. That dude is a potty set for the kickoff to start the second half. New England's Tony Franklin will kick it off as Tony Eason with those numbers misfiring on only six of 22 throws 175 yards a touchdown no intercepts he's not been intercepted now in something like 160 throws Elway six for 18 48 yards and one interception a marked difference in the two quarterbacks and they're in the score 13 three New England Franklin sidewinds it to Gene Lang Lang from LSU at the 20 and out to the 27 28 yard line. 25 yards on the return. Introduce that Denver offense to you. John Elway at quarterback. Primary runner, Sammy Winder. Steve Sewell, the all purpose runner receiver. The wide receivers, the veteran Steve Watson and Clint Sampson, the tight end Clarence Kay, with stuttered Bishop Brian Howard and Lanier, the blockers. Sampson to the right. Watson not in there at the moment as uh, Will Hyde is in the backfield. And he gets the call. Gerald Wilhite lasting to the 38, a gain of about 10. Reeves wants to take some pressure off Elway, comes right out with a running play, and it was a good one. Picked up uh, close to, in fact, in fact, has a first down. First half stats. Look down at the bottom. Time of possession 21.05 for the Patriots. I don't know if I've seen a game that one side in a long time. First downs, three first downs for the Broncos. We'll take a look at the rest of those numbers after this play. Sampson in motion. Watson is way out to the right, and he's looking for Watson. He's got him. First down at the New England 45.
Steve Watson, the veteran from Temple, brings the Broncos into New England territory at the 45-yard line. Patriots and the Broncos, neither team ran the ball effectively in the first half, but the difference was in the passing game owned by Eason and the Patriots. Turnovers, Broncos two to one by the Pats. Winder, the solo setback. Tippett, Ooh. he got there just as the handoff was made. And down goes Winder. Andre Tippett. We started to ask, well, here, when it comes to linebackers, I'm the man. I believe that I'm the top linebacker in the league. After a play like that, you don't want to argue with the man, I'll tell you that. The uh, Seattle players uh, came down hard on Tippett. They were upset about his play last week. You'll see him flying in from the right hand side of your picture. Look at that. Almost took Winder's uh, shoulders off on that play. They said he played dirty. He said, What are they talking about? He said, I play hard, but I don't play dirty. Elway Ooh. off the fingertips of Sewell. It appeared that ball might have been deflected. I think it was. It uh, knocked up in the air, came right down towards Sewell, but almost uh, what they used to call a medicine ball. That's kind of you to catch with the defenders streaking up in the secondary. I'd say I think uh, Garen Veris, number 60, made the play again. He's down, he's up, and gets oh his hand on the ball. Is what he played great effort. What great effort. Second effort. No question about it. Aaron Ferris. Elway figured he could sneak that one over the top of the defensive end when he was on the ground. No way. He's filled the spot left by the retirement of Julius Adams on that right side of the New England defensive line. Four wide receivers in for Elway. Trying to get away from Tippett. And does. And finds his man, Jackson. Mark Jackson out of bounds. Down the New England 16 but a flag is down and it's roughing against whom against New England roughing the passer so they'll tack on 15 more well, what a good job by the blockers of Elway to ward off Andre Tippett he was all around Elway but couldn't get to him I mentioned in the first half that Elway is probably most dangerous when he's improvising and that's the case here gets out of the pocket and throws the perfect strike you see Jackson working down the sideline for the big gain well that puts them in a chance uh, with a chance here to get points on the board quickly and establish their dominance here in the second half first series so important for a team in the second half and with a penalty the ball marked inside the eight yard line first and goal. Patriots who watched that 10 point lead last week disappear have got to be feeling that they've seen this situation before Dick they got to settle down and go back to work here in this second half but right now the concentration on the Denver Broncos sideline and on the field let's convert let's get those points let's get it in the end zone for a touchdown. softer than he's been throwing the ball in the first half. Maybe that was one of the things they talked about in the locker room. Kubiak sets it for Carlos, and it's a three-point game as John Elway takes the Broncos down the field with a kickoff to start this second half, and they come away with seven. Listen to the heartbeat of America. 
listen to the heartbeat of America. Listen to the heartbeat ooh, ooh. of America. Ooh, ooh. Listen to the heartbeat, heartbeat. of America. Ooh, oh, yeah. It's the rhythm on the road. It's the pulse on the street. Pulse on the street. City and town of magic sound. Ooh. Welcome to the Silver Bullet, home of a cold Coors Light. Rob, do you work out? Yeah, I belong to a club. Here's your Coors Light. Yeah, I'm thinking about joining a club, but can't seem to find a good enough reason. I mean, is a flat stomach a good enough reason? Nope. Building up my endurance? Nope. <laughs> Big muscles? No. See the club, Rob? Yeah. <laughs> oh! What's the name of that club? There's no slowing down Rob? with the Silver Rob. Bullet tonight. Today's game is brought to you by the Heartbeat of America. Today's Chevrolet. By Monroe Shock Absorbers. For shocks and struts, America rides Monroe. And by Old Milwaukee and Old Milwaukee Light. It doesn't get any better than this. Well, that big horse of a tight end, Clarence K, catching his first pass of the game and his first touchdown reception of this season. To draw within three, 13-10. Carlos to kick it off, Irving Fryer, the deep man for New England. Very, very high. Fryer at the six. He's got a gap. Look at the hurdling talent of Fryer as he's out to the 39. And boy, when he accelerates, he just looks exciting. Let's take a quick look at that touchdown again as the Broncos powered right down the field. Watch Elway as he rolls out and then really takes the zip off this football. He just throws a nice soft pass. Takes a long time to get there. Clarence K is saying, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> Finally got it in there. He was reaching but No back. question. That's the kind of pass he's going to have to throw. Let those receivers handle him. Let them make the adjustment. From the 39, Eason, good protection over the middle. Almost intercepted by Ricky Hunley as it went through the hands of James. A pair of linebackers, Hunley and Mecklenburg, right there on top of Craig James. Hunley could reach out and snap that ball a couple of times. They say he's 235 pounds. No way. I think those last two digits should be reversed. <laughs> 253. I think, I think he's over 250. Look at him here. That ball bounced one time off his shoulder and had it bounced forward. He might have had himself an interception. Replacing Steve Busick traded to the Rams in the middle of that defense. Cedric Jones in motion. Eason going long. And Derwin Williams can't quite get there as Mike Harden well covering the wide receiver for the Patriots. Harden who had a touchdown interception against the Eagles last week. In fact, has had one in each of the last three years. Three touchdowns via the intercept to tie a Denver record. Eason's been protected pretty well on the day. But they were blitzing on this side. Linebacker Tom Jackson coming, but there's pressure from the inside. You see the shot there. It's Jackson as he takes Eason down just as he unloads that football. Boy, that's a good play by Harden. Jones might have made the catch. Third and ten. Now the crowd comes into the game. had to eat it he didn't want to run but his receivers well covered he has to settle for seven Eason ran three times last week in that big game against Seattle one of them called back two of them for first downs but couldn't get it up on that play and listen to that crowd now the 
Patriots watch the Broncos come out of the locker room drive 73 yards and seven plays to make it 13 10 and then the Denver defense apparently to give the ball right back to the offense as Camarillo had a big first half set the punt 10 men rushing this kick not quite as long as the others but will hide at the 11. Ooh, almost somebody grabbing at the arm in which the football rested. 43 yards, 10 on the return, and a timeout. Ten and a half minutes remaining in the third period here in Denver. Florida Everglades and Old Milwaukee both mean something great to these guys. The Everglades means airboating, as close as you can get to flying without leaving the ground. And Old Milwaukee means a great beer. Cold, crisp Old Milwaukee beer and smooth, golden Old Milwaukee light. There's nothing like the flavor of a special place in Old Milwaukee beer. Old Milwaukee and Old Milwaukee light. Hey guys, it doesn't get any better than this. Who has transformed home entertainment, bringing sight and sound together with one remote? Who RCA with digital command component systems, a choice of components operated by one remote that deliver a sight and sound experience you must experience. Digital command component systems. If you settle for less than RCA, that's exactly what you'll get. Next Sunday, the NFL plays here when the Dolphins battle the Patriots. Before your team takes the field, our team hits the air. NFL 86. And we'll be up in Foxborough for that game, Merlin. We certainly will. That's the man in the hat there, the cap, walking to your left across the screen. Dante Skarnecchia, special teams coach for the Patriots, said this has been the longest week of his life. But so far in this game, his special teams have played outstanding football. They had a 10 man rush on that time and they blocked very well for Camarillo. Sammy Winder, four yards on first down into the grasp of McGrew. Now the Broncos apparently responding to something that happened in that dressing room at halftime. Dan Reeves says he doesn't give big emotional speeches, but maybe somebody fired some emotional <laughs> enthusiasm into the Broncos. There again, trying to hit Watson, working Watson on man coverage, LePet, but they just can't seem to find Watson the way they'd like. LePet talks about his last trip here in 1984 as maybe the worst game of his life. Toasted. Oh, they just cooked him, I'll tell you. About 15 passes thrown on his side of the field in his turf to Butch Johnson and to Steve Watson. Mark Wilson has thrown a touchdown pass in the final seconds of the first half to Doki Williams, and then in the first half minute of the third quarter, hits Jesse Hester for 40 to take the lead against San Diego 14-13. Watson first down in front of LePet. Nine yards on the play. Steve Watson, his idol as a youngster, Raymond Berry. And you see some of Berry in the way he stalks that sideline. He is really a polished receiver. You know, everybody's talking about the, the replay. Watson's one who doesn't like it. They've taken two catches away from him for 110 yards. He said, hey, I don't like this at all. <laughs> Did I catch you voting in that CBS poll today? <laughs> <laughs> Eight times. No truth to that rumor. First down, Denver. 13-10, New England leads. Same play on first down. Winder right up the middle. Brent Williams and Toby Williams. Number 50, McGrew there as well. You see 96, Brent Williams getting up from Toledo University. High school, Flint, Michigan. He says, my mom not feeling real well late there in Flint. Sure to say hello to him. 
Watson and Sampson to the left. Second tight end Joey Hackett 85 and Kay on the right side and they run right. Steve Nelson unable to bring down Winder and Sammy Winder from Southern Mississippi. Close to another first down. They were able to cut off the nose tackle Toby Williams who in turn cut the legs out from underneath Garen Barris. Without the pursuit from the backside there was room for Winder to, to get upfield. Trying to measure for a timeout as you saw Winder come out he lost his shoe on the tackle and Gerald Wilthide is going in to replace him. Toby Williams is a good story in that defense for the New England Patriots though they they drafted Mike Ruth out of Boston College as a potential you see how short it is as a potential nose to pounds out of Nebraska and he plays with his nose at one end of that football. Well, you'll see him line up almost in the picture here. That's his head right there nose to nose with Billy Bryant number 64 of the center. Elway keeps it himself. A little false step to the right and then a first down at the 45. Well, they're still scrambling down in there. You got to wonder if maybe that football may not be loose at the bottom. Maybe just a little bit of emotion pumping up on that field. Well, right now if you're New England you're thinking let's get this thing started. Denver's had their way so far in the half. Denver has the first down and you see them pushing New England off the ball. I think what happened is some of Elway's linemen were a little bit upset that there were people stacking up on him after the play. Well, one of them was his own lineman fell on. Him. They hurt too. <laughs> and often that's where some of the serious injuries do occur. I think I was hurt more often by my own people than by the other team. But. Elway on first down from his 45 has it rejected by Varus again. Garen Varus, who is a basketball all stater in Ohio, and he has deflected several passes. He has knocked down three today. His idol and growing up in Chillicothe, Ohio, wasn't a basketball player. He loved number 44 of the Browns, Leroy Kelly. Dan Remsburg playing in there in place of Dave Stuttered. Uh, either getting a break or maybe having an injury problem. Ooh, smoke on that one. Clint Sampson about two yards on the play. Well covered by Claiborne. I understand that Dave Stuttered had been suffering from the flu all during the week, so he's probably getting a little rest on the sideline. Boy, that'll drain the energy out of you. You saw again that hard throw from Elway, but Sampson unable to get his feet after he got the football and picks up only a short gain. It was still be third and about eight yards to go for the Broncos. And Elway was a New York Yankee minor leaguer. Showed a great arm in baseball. Fires a strike there, but it's good for only two yards. So third and eight, Denver. Sewell stays in to block, anticipating the linebacker. Flag is down and complete. Well, that count looks as if Watson has it down at the 38 of New England. No, it is the Mark Jackson. And what a job this little rookie. He's only 5'9 and quick feet. He's been open all day. I'm afraid, though, they're going to bring it back. Looked like there was a holding call on that last one. Calling the Patriot captain up. Wounded, number 76 on the offense. Still first down. Can Lanier ticketed? The Broncos have been moving Lanier out to try and control Andre Tippett, and that's not an easy task. Lanier is a fine tackle, but Tippett has such fine speed, such quick speed, and he's exploding outside. I think on that play was able to get past Lanier, who did what he has to do to save his quarterback got a hold of that jersey and just hung on tough penalty for the Broncos it would have been first down in New England territory instead it's at their own 37 third and long screen 40 45 and wrestled down at the 46 short of the first down. 13-10, New England leads here in Denver. Let's check now another action with Bob Costas in New York. 
All right, Dick, you mentioned the Jesse Hester touchdown. Here it is. After Little Train James fumbled the second half kickoff and the Raiders recover, Wilson hits Hester. Now Los Angeles has the lead, 14-13. The margin right now, a missed extra point by the Chargers. Dick? Jack Wheel drifts back to punt for Denver. Irving Fryer, who has been outstanding in his kick return duties, both punts and kickoffs today, stands at the New England 11. Short. Fryer at the 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Another 20, 21 yard return by Irving Fryer. He has been a weapon today. Six minutes, four seconds left, third quarter here in Denver. Glacier Bay, Alaska, and old Milwaukee both mean something great to these guys. Glacier Bay means the one and only Alaskan King Crab, sweet, fresh, and big. And old Milwaukee means a great beer, cold, crisp old Milwaukee beer, and smooth, golden old Milwaukee light. There's nothing like the flavor of a special place, and old Milwaukee beer. Old Milwaukee and old Milwaukee light. Hey, guys. It doesn't get any better than this. Telecommunications simply means making a connection. Me to you, A to B. When that meant creating a communications network 22,000 miles above the Earth, they called Cartel. When it meant a 16-foam system at the Omaha headquarters of Vicks Corn Popper, they called Cartel. Small business, a tall order. Cartel can help you communicate better, too. For Cartel, I'm Charlton Heston. America rides Monroe, America rides Monroe, on the road, the way to go, America rides Monroe. More people ride Monroe shocks and struts than any other brand, and right now, get up to $20 in rebates, get $2 back on each Monroe Matic Plus, and $5 back on each Gas Magnum or Gas Matic. They'll give you the best ride ever, guaranteed. On the road, the way to go, America rides Monroe. Searching here for predictions and there for analysis. Oh, the dilemma of choosing the right pregame show. We at NBC Sports suggest you put as much effort into choosing a pregame show as you did with those home improvements. Possibly more. NFL 86, the one you'll choose. There's the defensive coordinator of the Broncos, Joe Collier. The infamous book in his hand. Uh has all the defenses that he's used in all of his years, 18 years here. Continuity of this de defense, very important in Denver. After Fryer's 20-yard return, Craig James running into his own blockers, then Tom Jackson and company dragging him down after a one-yard gain. James has been shut out on the ground today. Washington beat Seattle, remains unbeaten. Chicago unbeaten big at Cincinnati. San Francisco, Miami one and three. Worst start ever for Shula in Miami. Rams lose their first game at Philadelphia. Kansas City, a close one to Buffalo. Pittsburgh in overtime beats Houston. They'll have the other scores after this play. Eason looks left and in. Then he looks right, and Darren Como is the man he sees. Fourth sack for the Broncos. Other scores, the Giants were down 17-0 and rallied at home to beat the Saints. Cleveland, a close one against the Lions. Minnesota, Tommy Kramer, six touchdown passes in that win against the Packers. The Jets have a 13 nothing lead. They score is like this one in the third. Raiders down 13 nothing, trying to get their first win of the year. And Tampa Bay trying to stop Atlanta's dream of going 4-0. Third down, 19. Down the middle for Fryer, knocked away. Steve Foley. It appeared that Eason had threaded a beauty down the middle, but Steve Foley makes an excellent play. Foley will come across right in front of Fire, a Friar, timing his cut so that he arrived just as the ball arrived. 
One of Foley's jobs back there is to read the quarterback's eyes. And when that quarterback starts that throwing motion, he reacts instantly. You saw it there as he covered about two quick steps and stretched to maximum to knock that ball away. Very nice play. Will Hyde at his 28. Camarillo looking at 10 men on the line of scrimmage. Gets away another solid kick. Not quite the distance this time at the 30. Will Hyde has to fall on it at the 32. And with it a timeout with 444 left in the third. This is it. The moment they find out if their cars got what it takes. They've done everything they could. Which is why two out of three Indy 500 drivers rely on STP oil treatment. Because when it comes right down to it, STP adds extra lubrication to reduce engine wear in whatever you drive. STP is the racer's edge. Got a problem with the old TV? Since you usually can't trade it in, maybe you've hung on to it a little longer than you'd like. Well, right now at Curtis Mathis, your old TV is worth up to $300 in trade on selected new TVs, stereos, and VCRs, all with our extensive customer service and exclusive four-year warranty. So, if your old TV isn't what it used to be, bring it to Curtis Mathis today, because National Trade-In Days are on now. Crow Wing, Minnesota, and Old Milwaukee both mean something great to these guys. Crow Wing means Northern Pike, big and mean. And Old Milwaukee means a great beer, cold, crisp Old Milwaukee beer, and smooth, golden Old Milwaukee light. There's nothing like the flavor of a special place, and Old Milwaukee beer. Old Milwaukee and Old Milwaukee light. You know, it doesn't get any better than this. Donna Mills is a woman whose fantasies become a reality and threatens to destroy her marriage. I'm scared. Intimate Encounters, tonight 